Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to print the last three letters of the given string text. Let's say the given string text is like this. String str is equal to this is a given string text. Let's say Arun Motori, my name. Now, using the Java program, you need to intake such kind of string text from the user and after intaking, you need to retrieve the last three letters of the given string text. Can you find out the last three letters of the given string text? These three letters, guys. Okay. We need to retrieve this and print the last three letters of the given string text. Now, let me practically show you how to write the Java program to intake this string text and retrieve the last three letters of the given string text. First of all, we need to intake the string text from the user. For that, we need to create an object for the scanner class. Using scanner class, we can intake inputs from the users. So hover the mouse on this uh, scanner and import this uh, scanner class from java.util package. And this constructor cannot be empty. Provide system.in inside the constructor to resolve the error. Once you have created an object for the scanner class, now you need to ask the user to enter or give any string text. Okay, you are asking the user to enter any string text. By looking at this particular text in the output, user will try to give any string text like Arun Motor, etc. etc. Okay. Now, how to intake this uh, given string text into the Java code? For that, we need to use this scanner object. Scanner dot, I'll say next. This is string text. So we have to use a command like line, next line, next line command. Using next line command, we can intake string text into the Java code from the users, which is given as input. So once this uh, next line will capture this uh, input given by the user as string, then we can store that into a kind of variable. Let's say str. I'm just writing it as str for the most create local variable. So we have received the required string text from the user and thereafter stored into this str kind of thing. Now we need to write the logic for retrieving and printing the last three letters of the given string text how to write for that what we can do here is uh, if you can see here this given string text is like this right arun motor okay in this example so if you can find out the index a is at 0 r is at 1 u is at uh, 2 n is at 3 space is at 4 m is at 5 o is at 6 like keep on going okay 8 9 R is at uh, 10 and I is at 11. Okay, this R I, R is 10, I is 11, simple. Now, if you have to retrieve this uh, last three letters, we need to use this indexes, that is 9, 10, 11. Okay, if you retrieve the characters of the given string text from this uh, indexes, then you can retrieve this uh, last three letters of the string text. Okay, using the indexes we have to do. For that, what we can do is, first of all, we will convert this str into a character array. Okay, if you have to go with this index concept, then you have to convert this string into a character array. For that, we have a command, right? String class has a command known as two care array command. This two care, two care array command will convert the given string text into a character array. You see the character array. So I will say str ca, string character array for the most create local variable. Now we can iterate through this character array for retrieving the required index values. That is, uh, if you retrieve the index nine, you will get the zero. If you retrieve index 10, you will get R. If you retrieve index 11, you will get I, like this guys, okay? We need to retrieve this tra last three letters. So let's first retrieve the index 11 guys, okay? Index 11, that is I, how to do that? For that, we have to write a for loop, guys. For int i is equal to size of this character array minus one. Okay. What's the size of this character array? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 minus 1 is 11. So we need to first find the size of the character array. For that, I will say int size of the character array is equal to strca dot length. This will give the size of the character array. Now, size minus one will give the index 11. Size is 12, guys. Okay. Size size of this given string text is 12. You need to find the index 11. For that, you have to say 
i is equal to size minus 1 this this is going to be the index 11 and i greater than or equal to size till size minus 3 okay till size minus 3 size minus 1 is 11 size minus 2 is uh, 10 size minus 3 is 9 if you give like uh, if you don't give this equal you have to say size minus 4 so that it will consider up to size minus 3 anything is fine guys either you write like this and put size minus 3 or if you don't want to give this equal symbol then give size minus 4 it will consider up to size minus 3 only in this case also fine starting from size minus 1 till size minus 3 that's it and i minus minus here you have to decrement from 11 you have to make it 10 from 10 you have to make it 9 right for that decrement now we need to retrieve this character at this given index first that is size minus 1 size minus 1 is 11 let's say i is 11 so the condition here is 11 greater than 11 greater than size minus 4 that is size is 12 12 minus 4 is 8 yes 11 is greater than 8 true we'll go inside the for loop and uh, what we have to do is uh, here we need to create one more thing string last three letters initially last three letters i'll put as nothing there is no not even a space between these double quotes so kind of nothing last three letters is equal to okay last three letters is equal to i need to retrieve this uh, character how to retrieve that character so for that, what we have to do is uh, this character array, strca of i we have to say, okay? Then plus last three letters. Let's see how this uh, logic will work, okay? Based on that, we can decide. Last three letters is equal to strca of i is index 11. Index, in, index 11 character array has this value that is i. So here, this one is i, guys. So I will be appended to nothing. When I is appended to nothing, what will happen? It will be I only, okay, I. Then I minus minus, here I became 10. 10 greater than eight, 10 greater than eight, true, true again. So again, we'll go inside that and uh, last three letters is having high now. STRCA of 10 is, of 10 is R. So R need to be retrieved here. R plus last three letters is, i r i it will be like r plus last three letters is already i so r i like this so if you put this last three letters here and then add this strca of i it will give a different result guys make sure the position of strca should be here and after that only the last three letters should be there so that it will be properly appended otherwise you have to again reverse the last three letters fine so if you don't want to reverse it simply append like this like this format so the current uh, retrieved thing that is R appending with the earlier one that is I. So it will become R I. Instead of I R, we have to get R I. Just keep that in mind. Now I minus minus, it will become nine. Nine greater than eight, still true. STRC of nine is O. O will be retrieved here. O will be appended with R I. The last three letters is R I. So O will be appended with R I. So here position is here guys o plus ri is ori so are this ori the last three letters yes or is the last three letters fine now i will become 8 8 greater than 8 is false we'll come out of the for loop simple we are able to retrieve the last three letters and store them into the last three letters uh, kind of thing of string okay now system dot out print ln i'll say last three letters of the given string text is plus this last three letters that's it we are done writing the logic for retrieving and printing the last three letters of the given string text for that we need to convert this string into a character array then we have to find the size of the character array and then we have to use this uh, for loop to start from the last uh, index till the required index and then iterate the loop and append the uh, retrieved values to the last three letters properly in a proper position manner. Then you'll get the last three letters and you can simply print it out. 
and one more thing we have to do is uh, as part of the best practice once you have taken the inputs from the user once you are done you can simply close the scanner object as part of the best practice this is not mandatory guys this will simply resolve the warning message and we will be following the best practice that's it now let's run this code to see whether this uh, java logic is working perfectly fine or not so here it is asking the java program is asking the user to enter any string text i'll give the same string text that is arun motori now when i press enter it should retrieve the last three letters ori and print the last three letters of the given string text is ori that's fine now let's try with another uh, word let's say uh, we can give something like orange or something it should print ng right ng you see ng so whatever the text you give as input in that text in the given text the last three letters will be taken and printed here fine so hope guys you understood how to write the java program to print the last three letters of the given string text so that's it guys thank you bye